Let's talk about the dry dock incident. Monarch operatives transported you from the university to the ground zero operation at the shipyard. Still upset about that, huh? You were secured, unconscious. Well... Uh... Liam Burke went to retrieve you, and you were gone. I'm sleepwalking. Step away, right now! You three seconds till I pull. I had better reflexes. And you're a marksman. <laughs> We know Beth Wilder assisted you in some manner. Then I'm guessing you know the rest. No, because everybody who saw what you did next is now dead. I didn't have a clue where I was or why. Never questioned it because it didn't feel real. Still waiting to wake up. Beth Wilder risked blowing her cover to rescue you. Sounds like you didn't exactly return the favor. No. I didn't. Only way forward. Huh. That's weird. There's gotta be another way in there. Okay, doesn't last. Noted. When the fracture broke time, some objects became unstable. With my new abilities, I can manipulate their timelines, rewind them. All right. 
right. Chopper for me at the dry dock. I'm heading to the island. Roger. We'll have the chopper. Seeing Paul's face on that screen, it was some kind of sick reminder. I couldn't escape what had happened, what he did. I needed to know why, but part of me wanted to put a fucking bullet in his head before he could open his mouth. Want us to send additional teams to search for Joyce? Negative. Focus efforts in our PR campaign. Amy Ferrero's confession goes live in a matter of minutes. What about Jack Joyce? Once that confession hits the air, the whole city will be looking for him. He'll have nowhere to turn. He'll come to me tonight. At the gala? You're sure? Positive. like some bitch named Mr. Girl for Screen's PR campaign, filming confession videos. We blew the library to create misdirection. The media's gonna laugh. Get up. That's for Will. There we go. What the hell is that? Hello? Jack, this is Beth Wilder. Beth? I'm... You're the one my brother was looking for. I'm the one who was attempting to rescue your ass until you decided to go on a gun-blazing ship parade through that warehouse. Now listen closely. You're at the outskirts of a Monarch Cronin harvesting operation, and Paul Serene is at the dry docks nearby. Not a recipe for fun times. So how about... Dry docks. If Paul's at the dry docks, then that's where I'm... No! Going. Jack, the fracture is our only priority now. Time is ending. Will said he... Will's dead. My best friend came back a goddamn monster. He knew this would happen. He prepared for it. Paul's the key to understanding all this, and I'm gonna find him. They both know that if you find Serene, you're not gonna be asking questions. Think this through.
Thought was at the dry docks in the distance. I recognized a place. William had a workshop in that industrial area for years. I knew that couldn't be a coincidence. This one's more reflective. Like, wish we could undo what we've done, sort of deal. Dave will feed you the line. Dave? You're using your names. You're not letting me go, are you? You're never. Jack Joyce. You. From the protest. What are you. I am so sorry. I didn't want to, but they made me do it. They made you do what? What is this place? They forced me to make false confessions for the news, I think. I'm so sorry, Jack. They were armed. Hey, whatever you did, it's not your fault. None of this is your fault. I'm just glad you're okay. Listen, I need to get to the dry docks. Do you know the way? Uh, no, uh, no, I don't think so. But they took me in through a security station nearby. I can help you find a way through there. I owe you. The security station is right over there. Uh, I knew Marnock had a dark side, but this? They're controlling the entire media, everything. They can't cover this up. It's too big. <laughs> they can, trust me. <clears throat> Locked. Ah, okay, there must be a gate control around somewhere. Yeah, I'll check. Monarch's twisting the story for the media, claiming the protest went hostile and that we detonated the library. And you, Jack. Hey, it worked. That could be fixed. I think you need to get to this <gasps> side of the gate somehow.
my god. You're just... You're just like them. Like who? I saw them on the way in. These geared up soldiers that blink in and out. Okay. Oh, that's something to look forward to. You know, I thought I was losing my mind when I saw that. You're part of this. I need to know what's going on. You really want to open that can of worms? You just defied physics. I'm entitled to all the worms. All right, my brother tried to explain. Time is an egg, which is now fucked. A time egg, which is, it's fucked. It's like broken. I, I don't know. What? What? Why is there an We're locked out. Maybe you can climb through that open window on the second floor? Yeah, that should work. Wait here. So Paul founded Monarch. Need to get up to that open window. Is that another one of those rewind things? I'm starting to get out of this, all right. That window, Jack? Made it. Now to get to that door. Right. I'm gonna use the terminal up here and try and dig up what Monarch's really up to. Ferraro, an eyewitness on the scene. Amy, tell us, what is going on here? There were people from our group who took things too far. Shit. Things got very violent. I'm so sorry, Jack. They yeah, forced me to do it. I, I know. Because of Jack Joyce. There's nothing you could have done. Like a terrifying scene down there. We really that appreciate map over there should help you figure out a route. Record to speak out against what appears to be such a dangerous person. Ground Zero. That's the same area my brother used to have his workshop. I may have to pass through there to get to Paul. Paul? As in Paul Serene? That's why you're going to the dry docks. We have unfinished business. You may want to stay here until I'm done. Yeah, I think you're right. I'll open the door for you. Okay, stay in contact. 
Find a radio. I'll be on channel three. And be careful. Yeah, you too. Still no word on Joyce's location. Yeah, I heard his brother scream like a bitch when he died. When he shows his face, I'll make him do the same. Son of a... Still kicking. Monarch radio is lighting up. They heard a noise and know you're coming. Be careful out there. Thanks for the heads up. Shotgunner advancing on hostile. Mother. idea where I go next? Well, before you said hi, Gatehouse Squad was talking about activating security measures to lock some door on the second floor. That's a start. Thanks.
Looks like a way out. Now, how do I get it open? Turned off security. Uh oh. Jack, they're coming your way. Yeah. I did some digging. This Chronon operation is harvesting some kind of fuel. It's used to power a device called the CFR. Ever heard of it? CFR? No, what is it? I'm not sure, but it looks like it's at the center of everything Monarch's doing. The thing they stole from the university, this operation, everything's linked to the CFR somehow. What the hell is Paul up to? Sophia Amaral, Monarch's resident chronon scientist. Well, she must know a lot of the same stuff Will did. Better known as chronon particles. On July 4th, open fire! Unique temporal. He's all over us! We now refer to as Ground Zero, located within the Riverport Industrial Zone. This is a Creating the perfect conditions for extraction. operation Thank 
transported from this location to the other. Chromium levels will lower to a point that renders Ground Zero obsolete in the near future. I'm queuing up the presentation to make sure everybody remembers the essentials before we proceed. Hello. We got contact! I'm oh How am I getting out of this? Technological advances in the <laughs> Better known. July 4th, 24th, new control anomalies began to occur in this area. We now refer to the Zero, located within the Riverport Industrial Zone. This resulted in extremely dense emissions of chronon particles, extraction, which led to the chronon harvesting operation today. All of Monarch's chronon technologies relied on this Fuck! Most notably, the chronon Josh, you got no that can ensure stabilization and regulation of mass quantities. When the time is right, the entire series of chronon containers will be transported from this location to the where the only authorized personnel are to handle the containers directly. Take out the target now! Closer proximity to the ground zero perimeter than entering the zone. This zone emits dense chronon particles while for harvesting. The ground zero perimeter itself is never to be entered under any conditions. We refer to this area as the zone, where time no longer flows in a consistent way and shifts to the Many who have entered ground zero have never returned. We know that the fracture will occur on October 8, 2016. We hypothesize that from this point forward, the chronon levels in ground zero will slowly deplete until time anomalies cease to occur. For this reason, all harvesting necessary for sustained use of the CFR must be complete before the fracture runs its course. Exit down here. There's got to be something I can use to get up there. elevator. After everything that's happened? It has something to do with their future plans. Serene's delivering a speech and the guest list has everybody from monarch higher-ups to big-shot scientists to the mayor of Riverport, which raises the question, why now? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out.
Okay. Getting closer, I think. Now, which way's the dry dock? I got that briefcase we lifted from William Joyce's car. Laid out the contents in the trailer. You want me to go through? No, no. Serene wants the first look. Till then, hands off. Like the trailer is power now. Said Mac, filling in for Bobby Radford. Bobby's taking okay. a break for health reasons. I'm sure you'll man had taken the briefcase from Will's car. Dump the contents on the table. The will had said he needed something from his briefcase to stop the fracture. Wasn't much there but his phone and a key to the Bradbury swimming pool. That's the most obvious clues. Jack, it's Beth. Monarch just got footage of your lady friend sniffing around some confidential Monarch files. Kind of a big no no around here. Amy, I gotta go back for her. Don't. I'll pick her up. Where are you? I'm on my way to Paul at the dry docks. Serene's not the priority. I'm getting you out of there. I'll meet you at the dry docks. Channel 1 is the monarch frequency. Use it to keep ahead of them. And Jack, don't do anything stupid. Oh, thanks for the vote of confidence. I recognized Will's workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we refer to as Ground Zero. It was clear that the workshop was at the center of the Monarch operation. I wanted to see what was in there, and it seemed to be the only way to the dry docks answering. Got the word. Safeguard squad's checking out that explosion. Striker team is establishing a defensive perimeter around Ground Zero. An entire striker team? For one guy? University incident got HQ wetting their pants. The kid's gonna get torn apart like a- Stay sharp! We're not alone!
technology for his men to move through stutters. He knew the fracture would occur. Prepared for it. Holy shit. And he never tried to stop it. Never told you what he did in that workshop at Ground Zero? No, never. He hid that part of his life from me. Nothing prepared me for the weirdness that was waiting there. And even that was just a prelude to the bad stuff that would follow in that same place later. Absolutely no entry. Well, I'm pretty sure that's more of a guideline than a rule. What the hell? What is this? This, this that already happened. What the fuck? Specifically requested copper clad Niobium. Well. There's no words to describe. Will was gone, but he was all around me. This entire secret life he'd never talked about. Everything he tried to protect me from. It surrounded me. A puzzle. Trapped in broken time. We all thought he wasted his research grant. His career. Obsessing over some failed experiment. That's what he led us to believe. What he built there... It never failed. Works. <laughs> Need my grant my extended, extended another year. year. Please, Please, don't do don't this. Do this.
I knew something went horribly wrong there, but it was scrambled. It's impossible to crack. overwhelming. Every unanswered question I had was compounded by what I'd seen at that workshop. The events at the university were part of something much bigger. Something that had started 17 years ago. Okay, dry dock. Get to the dry dock. I'm almost there. Gotta get to Paul. I refuse to leave while Jack's still here. I need to contain him. Paul? There was something wrong with Paul. Cornon Syndrome. He'd had his powers much longer than me. What was the cause? Was I sick as well, or was it his time travel? I didn't know. It didn't make anything he'd done any less hateful. Yeah. Jack, you have to understand that Will forced my hand. What the hell happened to you? There's no use fighting. You killed him! I'll explain when the time is right. You'll meet me tonight at the Monarch Gala. Gala? Time's ending and you're having a fucking party. Because when time ends, my plan... We do this now. I'm not meeting yes, you at... Yes, you are. I've already seen it happen. Seen what? What's this all for? Goodbye, Jack. No! Huh? 
got here. Stutters were getting bad. Be shifting back and forth without warning. At the time, I didn't think it'd get much worse. But we both know it did. That's gonna hurt. No, 
had been on her way to meet me. I expected she was frozen somewhere up there, by the side of the dry dock. Shoot me. Look, I'm sorry, but I'm shooting the fan. That's for not listening to me back there. Ow. You want to stop time from breaking down? You need my help. And thanks, by the way, for the plus one in the back seat. It's starting to feel like a goddamn babysitter. Babysitter? Are you kidding me? I got good intel off that computer. I ride my music. led you to the swimming hall. Oh, Will said there was something important in this briefcase. All I found was a key with Bradbury swimming hall on the chain. Only lead we had. I guess this is it. This building's been shut down for years. Perfect place to hide something you don't want found. I think it's time you tell me what you know. I know your brother built the one thing that can stop the fracture. I know we're meant to find it, and I know Modern doesn't want us to. And yet you're wearing their uniform. I like the way their pants fit. Yeah, I bet you like the paycheck, too. I had to create a cover to gather information. You've known about this for a few hours. I've been preparing for it for most of my life. You weren't aware that William owned the place? There's a lot I didn't know about Will. We need to find your brother's countermeasure. And fast. Things will get worse as the fracture progresses. And Monarch will be turning Riverport over looking for you. Wow. Jack. This is weird. I could swear this is the same cab I was in when I came to the university. It's a taxi. They all look the same, don't they? I'll check the license plate on my phone and see if anything comes up, but I mean, it's a long shot. Key doesn't fit. Any ideas how to get inside? The whole building's falling apart. There's got to be an opening somewhere.
think I found a way in. Stutters aren't going away. Do you think Monarch took it? It's not possible. I've been monitoring Monarch's activities the whole time. I honestly don't know. <clears throat> yeah. What is it? Uh. Will had used the building to hide away his personal items. What the hell were you doing here, brother? Time travel experiments with rats? Okay, May 17th, 1998. $12,000 movie, Joyce, though. About to conduct the first you have to haul a lot more to this place than just some old boxes. Pet mouse, you owned Europe. this place since He's 1999? Why didn't you tell me, Will? Come on, Schrodinger. Come to Willie. No wonder you are always coming up on, with crazy on, shit. Okay. Okay, finally, we're sending Schrodinger into the machine clockwise through the corridor. We need to keep our contact with five minutes point into point the future, meaning he I'll will find you on account exactly five minutes after he enters the machine. It has now been three minutes, no sign of Hello, Riverport. Teresa Sednak here, filling in for Bobby Radford. About to brighten your day with some good news. The victims wounded during Luck in there? Working on it. All right, let's take a look around. Down here. <sighs> nice work. This note, it's directed at me. July 4th, 2010. Well. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it, and the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone, taken, shit. What down. the? Safe, empty. I just need to know you have it. If it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives depend on it. This can't all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. 2010. Holy shit. What was that? You recorded that for me in 2010? the fuck? He said the countermeasure's gone? It's not good. We need to figure this out. Let's keep looking. Help me push this out of the way. <clears throat> Jack, your brother addressed that video to me, but... But I've never met him before in my life. Well, it sounded like he thought you had his countermeasure. I wish. But he said it was stolen on July 4th, 2010. Somebody took it. <clears throat> <sighs> <sighs> what am 
hoping this place will help us figure out who. I'll give you the honor of pressing the button. Is that? Yeah, I think so. The second time machine. This changes everything. If we can get this thing working, then we don't need that countermeasure. We can change everything. What if we stop the fracture from ever happening in the first place? We can go back to yesterday, undo everything in the past before it happens. Nobody dies. Paul doesn't go through the machine. Monarch never exists. I mean, the fracture never occurs. Jack, wait. Let's think this through. That's not how it... I can go into the machine like Paul did at the university. I helped them set it up. Then we activate the core. The corridor. It's key activated. Will's key. It says the time machine core needs to be reset. Great. What the hell does it look like? A round thing in the middle. Think. The schematics for the countermeasure spanned 11 years, 1999 to 2010. In itself, that wasn't strange. But the guy built a working time machine in two. Can't activate the core till it's reset. Need to find a way to reset the core first. Hey, it looks like I can reset the core from here. Are you sure you know what you're doing there? No clue. But I, I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. Look, Will knew the calculations were wrong. Hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will is leading us to. We have to test it. The core. That's what we set up first. could actually be the key to finding the countermeasure. We'll see. It's still resetting. The core is reset. We need to activate it from the control booth. The controls are up here, according to the monitor. The key fits. It looks like I have to do something else first.
Here goes nothing. should be exposed like that. This is gonna work. It has to. You guys aren't actually planning to use this machine. Are you? So, I guess you're not at all concerned that one guy jury-rigged this entire thing together? Because I think I've literally seen duct tape. Okay, no, this is a great idea. Yeah, no way that this is gonna backfire. and he left it in a trunk of his goddamn car. <laughs> That's my brother in the nutshell. That didn't sound good. Fuck. Let's just hope it still works. Yeah, like hell you are. You saw what happened. Something's wrong with the machine. We don't know that. You're not trained for this. Anything you do is gonna make it worse. We you can't know I'm right. Stop trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. But this is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. Monarch scientist. I saw her video near Ground Zero. Serene's head of Cronin Research. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. Jack, no. The future used to be so clear when I was reliving the past. Once I caught up to the moment I had left, that ended. All I've had to go on since then are the plan and the visions. I knew Jack would come to me. I'd seen that, but I didn't know why exactly or how it would end. There he is. You were right. My visions of the future aren't always clear, but they don't lie. Speaking of lies, Joyce is saying he's discovered his brother's time machine. We've spent 17 years looking for it, and he finds it in less than a day? That sound unlikely. Still, we know it's out there somewhere, and we don't know what his brother managed to tell him. If he really has located the machine, why would he come here and tell you? Smart Money says he's trying to play you. Maybe, but the machine is out there. It's in our interest to find out where. If Jack knows, I have to talk to him.
Dr. Joyce could have provided the answer to that question. William's attitude and knowledge made him a liability. Is that angry young man going to cooperate any more than his brother did? You remember Jack as a close friend, but that clouds your judgment. Don't make this personal. It's not. But don't forget why we're here tonight. After what happened, our people need reassurance that we're in control. You're the man who could win them over. Let me handle Joyce, so you can concentrate on your speech. I know what's at stake here, Martin. Don't even twitch. And here you are. I had to see the lifestyles of the sick and traitorous up close and personal. And it was such a nice invitation. How do you want to deal with this, Paul? I could still try to reach Jack and make him see reason. Or I could let Hatch deal with him so nothing would distract me from leading Monarch. trusted Jack more than anybody. It was my only chance to make him understand the truth. The fuck do you mean nobody got a look at the shooter? Without me there to give the speech, my empire would start to crumble like a house of cards. I believe that with hope comes miscalculation. And as you and I are well aware, Mr. Torsby, miscalculation can often come and that leaves me with you, Mr. Joyce. But my old friend would be a lost cause, dead and buried along with the rest of my past. Tonight is a celebration, a celebration in face of darkness. Tonight we celebrate because I promise to you that we are prepared. Monarch would grow stronger with my presence. The plan would go forward as intended. We didn't come this far to get derailed now. You talk to him, find out what he knows. Then get rid of him. You're all heart money bags. I know you want to make this all about you and me, Jack. But that's far away in the past now. And I have a speech to prepare for. I've seen where this leads. I've been to the end of time, and I've escaped it all the way to 1999, when it all started tried to change things, but by trying, I only made them happen in the first place.